Hey guys, we're down here in uh, Kingwood Greens today and just finishing up catching a little swarm. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like um, at the beginning, but I've actually got some pictures from the client that I'll just put on the video here so you can see. Pretty decent pound swarm, I would say just guessing three pounds, three to four pound swarm. Uh, so not bad. They had settled up here in this corner and looks like they were trying to gain entry into this soffit space, but I don't think they did because if they would have, they would have moved in right away. Um, but I've already been moving bees. I've got, I've already caught the queen, which I didn't even get a picture of her, but I did catch the queen. Thankfully it's been a few, been a few days since I've actually caught one. Um, but we're just wrapping up now. So I've just blown a little bit of smoke, getting the last of these to run down. Um, I'm going to make sure there's not any that are coming out of that soffit. If there are, I'll probably drill a couple holes and spray some repellent just to try to run them out of here. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking they didn't get in because if they would have, they would have all been in. They've been here since yesterday. So Hopefully we got them. Shouldn't be any issues. Just want to make you guys this little video just to tell you what's going on. They won't sting you? We'll see. Swarms are usually really gentle. They're usually really calm because they don't have any reason to be aggressive. They don't have a, they're not defending a nest or anything really. There's a couple already going in the box. I should have brought a, do you have a, like a step stool? Yes, I'll go get it. it. Okay. Basically, I just moved the first handful of them. And I'm just going to reach up here just and grab clumps of them and throw them down here on the front. And each um, time I do, some of them will run in the box. And once they decide that they like the box going to the wall, they'll all start running. How do you know which is, you need to look for the queen? or? Yeah, she's just a little bit bigger. That's why this screen that I'm using is the ramp actually has little slots in it that the, the regular bees can crawl through these slots but the queen can't. Oh. So it kind of, it'll kind of leave her high and dry. I can't believe you do that with your hand. It actually works okay because, you know, again, they're not defensive right now, but also your hand is about the same temperature as their cluster of their, from their body heat. And so they don't really realize that, that your hand is anything different. They just think it's other bees moving around. And so they just jump right on. But they're like swarming around your face and on your neck. Well, they're not stinging me. They're not stinging me at all. Wow. Ideally, as long as they haven't already gotten up in your socket, that was my concern. Yes. It doesn't look like it, because normally if they gain entry, they go right away. Like just as soon as one can get in, they'll all follow. I mean, within a couple of minutes, they'll wow. all be inside. What about the ones that were at the bottom? Were they down on the floor or what? They were, yeah. They're not now. I don't see them now. Yeah, they there was a little there. pile down there this morning. And so all, like right now, like I said, I'm, I'm moving them to try to, you know, break them up and get them moving to the box. But I am, I'm looking for the queen right now. Because when I drop them like this, they all spread out. Some will fly, but a lot of them will start to run. And you can't see it, but all these up here, they're all running. Uh -huh. And they're all putting their butts up in the air and they're fanning their wings. Huh. And if you can smell it, you'll smell a lemony smell. <clears throat> they're all putting off a pheromone that says, hey, we found a good spot. Everybody come over here. Um. So these are all running in the box. And at the same time, they're fanning their wings, trying to get all of these to come over here. Wow. That's called the mark. What will the queen do if you happen to lift her up there? What will she do? Yeah. She'll just run in the box. 
The queens are real skittish. They try to run and hide. She's usually going to be right in the middle of this whole clump of bees. Got the queen? Yep. I got to get this on video. Let's see. There. See this one right there? It's just oh. a little bit bigger. You got to get your camera to focus like through the slots. Okay, so this one is done. Um, textbook job, I have to say, which is extremely, extremely makes me happy, uh, which is extremely makes me happy. That makes me sound like a moron. Um, but, you know, after that one last week where the bees all went airborne and I never saw the queen, uh, I was feeling a little shook up. <laughs> so to have one like this that goes perfectly, caught the queen, caged her, everything went absolutely uh, tremendous. So uh, you can see all I've done now. I think I mentioned this before, but there's three little holes that I drilled up there in that cavity because it looked like a couple were kind of sneaking in and out of the cracks in the rock still. Um, but I don't really think they gained sufficient entry, otherwise the whole swarm would have moved in. But I went ahead and drilled the holes, uh, blew smoke up in there, and sprayed some Be Quick up there to get them out. I've sprayed the whole area where they were clustered with the Be Quick to get them off that spot. I've scraped off all the little bits of wax deposit. They already started building little bits of waxy comb, you know. They build as soon as they land. Queen's in the box, in a cage, rubber banded to a frame. So we're just gonna give them a few more minutes here to try to get the rest of them in the box. You can see there's a couple hanging out on the wall there that just can't seem to figure out how to jump an inch. <laughs> um, and then we'll be headed home.